What's up out there? Welcome back to some more internal suffering. We are on episode 12. Now, um, in or since the last video, I have spent some quality time and I went and got the dragon claws ground out, the ancient claws, and then ground out the infernal stronghold and got up 10 cores, which it took me 10 times. I didn't get any doubles on any of those stupid cores. So um, I had to clear that thing 10 times and I now have the infernal claw. So I've got that done. And I think the other addition was this Terran God helmet. I got that on this. Um, let's see. I did clear out. Let me see. We're going to kill this guy off one more time here. I'll run from that. So I did clear out the... I made a mistake in my last video too. I, I was confused. on This this whole combat triangle change has got me all flustered. So you would normally attack the Air God Dungeon with your melee character. And you would normally attack the Water God Dungeon with your range. And I got those mixed up when I was talking about this. I did go through. Um, I can't remember who I used in the Air God. Uh, I feel like I used my ranged character for a while. And then did some magic at some point. I can't remember. I've been using the wrong ones. I've been using, you know how you've got the equal to, you got less than, equal to, or greater than. Um, so instead of using, say, magic against range, which would be greater than in this new, I've been using ranged against range, which is equal to. I've been running that combination through a lot of these instead of the greater than one, if that makes sense. Um, I get all confused on which one's which because there is certain, I want to, I can't remember which one of these it is. I think I can go through the water god. The water god one I can go with my melee character and I have no issues. So I ground that thing out. I have all the gear out of it. In fact, I think I did get one of the rings from it. I got the warlock ring out of there. I also got a dead eye ring from the air god place. I've spent some serious time between these two dungeons, um, just clearing them and getting gear. It, it doesn't really look like it on my range character because I still have, well, I got the helmet, but I don't have the chest piece yet. I've been working on that. So I've been trying to get him raised up. Uh, he is now 89 ranged. I did level him up a bit. Um, let's see here. I've been working on him, in fact. That's the one I've been working on quite a bit is the ranged. So I cleared the water god and the air god for a little bit. I did go through and manually clear uh, the earth god dungeon once, and I got that helmet once or twice um, just to get that helmet. Now, I don't know how you guys are finding this. Like, I can solo, I can idle, I shouldn't say solo, I can idle the water god dungeon with my melee character, no problem. Now, I don't know if it's because I'm still using this slayer piece on here and I don't really have anything better yet. Uh, but I am not able to, let's see what would I do melee or ranged on this one. I don't think I'm getting ranged on this one to work. And I don't think I'm getting magic on the air God to work because it's like the opposite of what you'd normally, the one you wouldn't take in is now the one you do. So I haven't been able to idle either of these two because there's like a, a check in there that it's like 50,000 damage and I only have 41,000 auto eat. So I haven't been able to get there yet. My hit points are full. My defense strength and attacks all full. I, I know these aren't, and I know I don't necessarily have all my gear, but like I don't, I only have ancient plate body and I seem to be doing okay with the uh, water God dungeon with this, but then a fully decked out uh, magic character isn't doing so hot where it's supposed to like in the air God dungeon, there's a, a check in there that I just haven't gotten through. I think I'd have to run it again and see, but it feels like I, I just wasn't able to let it idle where I can let the melee go through the water God. I haven't been able to let the other two idle in their respective dungeons yet. So I don't know. It might be a gear thing. I might, you know, cause I don't have the earth layered shield yet. Um, I don't have this guy with a crossbow and a shield, uh, at all. So there's a lot of things that could improve. Plus his chest piece. I do have the helmet. Um, I just don't have it on yet. So I've cleared all that out. I did go through and try and do into the mist. I started it. I got up to the first boss. Well, the first version of it's not Bane. Um, it's not Bane. It is not Bane. Which one is that? 
Arenia. I got up to the first, the melee version of Arenia, and I just could not do enough damage. Uh, I was holding down the heal button. I think I had like a 12% chance to hit. It just wasn't really going that well. Stacks were building up very fast. I noticed the climb up to that. Um, I had to switch the various combat styles because some things were just really off. Like there was no way I was going to auto or hold heal through some of the things that were coming. And if I switched my attack to the style that it was weak against, it's, it went a lot better, but even still, there were some that were like hitting for a lot of damage that a little bit more damage. So I tried it, but it, it was really awkward and different. Now I did also try that with the protect item on and battle heart. So I could have put, you know, maybe the protect melee or something like that, but it's just too difficult. This thing moves so fast. You don't have time to switch. What I was thinking is, you know how, when you're in combat, if you're fighting something, you got this little bar down here. What I think would be awesome is if they had that bar reflected up here somewhere like, um, but have a few additions to it. You know, you've got these trays in your, um, down here for the, the selecting equipment and stuff like that. I'd love to see some kind of thing up in, in this area, right around the food section, like a run button, like, especially with this fast paced stuff that's going in quarter of a second, like you have to go from here over to here and hit this run area. I mean, you can go in the little side thing that comes down here, but you still can't switch. Like you, you have to move your mouse quite a bit down to the one, two, three to switch your gear slots and then go to run or if you need to switch spells, like it doesn't remember the Surge 2 spell that I have on. I'm, I'm running Ancient Magic and then I got to go turn the Surge 2 on. Like there's a lot of mouse clicks, a lot of finicky mouse clicks that it takes. And this thing's moving so fast, you don't really get the time to do it. And if you need to change prayers, like between, say you wanted to run Augury and then switch to Rigor when it was range time or something, just, there's no time. There is time on the regular game mode, typically, but there's just not that much time here. And to switch all that stuff around is kind of painful. It'd be nice if there were some hot buttons on here or I'll say it again, like gears, not gear sets, but quick slots. I want this set up for, you know, I'm going to use this, which is going to equip this, this, and this, you know what I mean? Like, uh, this is my melee set up for this dungeon. This is my melee set up for that dungeon. You know, have something like that has some additional buttons you can switch between, and have buttons for prayers like let me let me have the highest or four or five of these you know let me choose the ones that i want and pick them on here so i can just select between the ones and also i think it'd be kind of nice you know like if you switch prayers or something if i click if i click a prayer uh, i guess i can't here because i don't have my magic character on um but if i select a different yeah if I select a different prayer, it just switches, right? But if you're, I'm sorry, if I select a different piece of magic, it just switches for me. If I go to prayers and I put, if I go ahead and click two prayers on and I click a third, it says I've already got one on. It'd be nice if it switched the last one over or something like you could set the first or last, you know what I mean? It'd be nice to a quality of life. If I set battle heart, that's the one I want, the main one. And then I want to be able to switch between say piety, augury and rigor. Well, if I click this button, it should switch the augury over to piety. You know what I mean? Like stuff like that, I think would be awesome. The one you set first is the one that stays there and then you can switch between them. Cause there's so many times I go in the heat of battle and I'm trying to switch that button and it just, my mouse sometimes doesn't click. And then I'm trying to click on the other button and it just, it, things just don't work. So it'd be kind of nice to have some quality of life in this area regarding combat, quick selects, um, for prayers, for magic, for gear, uh, um, selection, whatever you want to call it, not just the gear sets, but like the quick sets of each, I, you, you know, you want one to be melee ranged and magic because you're gonna have to switch between them. But I'd also like to be able to have something that says, I want to swap maybe this shield out or something, or maybe especially once you get into the, um, oh God, impending darkness, because you end up going through these different slayer areas and like for magic, this, these two take totally different 
well, they can take totally different setups. But then when you switch to from unhallowed wasteland to the rest of these, they're a whole different gear setup. And instead of having to stop and go back over to the bank and find all that stuff, it'd just be nice to be able to hit some buttons up here. Um, there's plenty of real estate in here, I think. Um, just to rework this section in here and make it to where you can have more condensed controls over your character to switch between things really quickly, I guess would be the way to say that. I don't know. Complaints aside, I did try Into the Mist. Um, I got to that melee fight and it just, I didn't have a way to hit. Now I really regret, regret not taking Herblor because now I don't have Diamond Locks. So that sucks. Um, diamond luck potions really help that fight out and I don't have it. And I also don't have like the way to catch on fire with summoning and all that. <clears throat> so I'm kind of missing a few things and <laughs> I don't know, that's a big check there that I'm not being able to hit. So we'll see how this goes. Um, the other thing I started to do was thieve some carrots, which I'm now 99 thieving. I don't know if I have to have these skills at 99. If I do, I'm close on rune crafting. We'll get that one done. Um, I know you have to have the, the combat ones. I'm not sure about these others, but I did get thieving up to 99. I was thieving Bob, the farmer for a while, and I need 20 some thousand carrots and I have 4,000. So I need like 20 more thousand carrots. That's going to take a long grind. And what that would get me is, I just said I was trying into the mist. This is why I came down here. That would get me. 5% damage to all monsters and a little bit of auto eat efficiency. So that would help damage on those monsters. And, and I don't know, that's a long grind to get that one done. So I may let that run overnight. Uh, I'm still doing really well on food and prayer points are good. Once I hit 99 prayer, I kind of quit using it. So I only use it when I need to in dungeons or whatever. So I thought, all right, I need to get my ranged character uh, built up. Well, I didn't really have very many arrows. Like I got plenty of crossbow stuff, but these with that rapid fire, these things blast off quick. So, you know, how many do I have on here? 7,000. I think I had like 25,000 rune arrows and I'm down to 7,200. Like they just go so quickly. So I've been trying to save all the range stuff that I can. Anything that I get, I've been leaving in here. I haven't bothered using crossbows yet. And I've just been using regular bows and all the arrows that go with them. Uh, I think I took this into the mist, uh, the dragon arrows, and I've backed down to rune arrows. But then I thought, you know what? I'm going to come over here and start finishing this bandit base off. Because the cool thing about the bandit base is you can get all the different arrows from the game. I don't think there's anything missing. Um, but you can get a hundred rune arrows, hundred adamant, hundred mithril and steel. I probably won't use for anything, but real piddly crap, um, a hundred dragon arrows and you can get the ancient longbow, which I did get a few of those. So I've got a few of those things. And for anybody that likes to see stuff open up, here's a whole big pile of these. Um, basically that's what I'm doing right now is just trying to collect some, uh, ammo for ranged. Um, because what I want to do is turn my ranged guy loose on some magic cre uh, characters. So in my hardcore combat only video, um, I was mentioning going into the wizard tower and killing some stuff down here. Uh, these guys drop various runes of, you know, th this one here drops the, um, the elemental runes. This one, he uh, this one here drops mind chaos and death, which is used in like the, um, Oh, the curses and auras. So I get some of those there. And then the, the dark wizard drops chaos and death. Um, maybe a little better wand. No, I think I got an elite wand. Yeah, I did get an elite wand. So I've got that. So basically that's what I've been doing is just kind of working up ammo for my ranged character. So I can come in here and then I also probably need to spend some time in the Hall of Wizards because this drops, well, Elemental, Chaos, and Death. But it drops a little bit of Ancient Runes. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of past the gear there. Yeah, I'm way past the gear. So, as far as, like, runes go, uh, do, 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 which one was a Penumbra? These vampires might drop some good stuff, too. Uh, they drop 
pretty much all the basic elementals and that. So they might be a good resource for that too. Uh, I know I have rune crafting and I know I have 150,000 runes, which is a lot, but I don't know that I have enough to sustain everything. And I want to make sure that I can sustain it. So I've been using my melee character that doesn't take ammo to go get ammo for my range character so that my range character can then ammo up my magic character to a point. If all that makes sense. Don't know if it's worth the grind or not, but it's what I've been doing. Um, I really want to work on ranged a lot more. The problem is the range just blows through ammo. Like when this thing's on rapid, he's hitting every quarter second. He is tossing arrows out and these just look how fast that's dropping. I mean, if he hits five, six times in a row or shoots five, six times in a row, it's just tickling down real fast. So, um, that's why I've been kind of doing what I've been doing and letting it run like this. Uh, just because, uh, I also need Slayer coin. I've been letting it run on Slayer. So I've got 2 million Slayer coin that will get us to 3 million Slayer coin eventually, which gets us into the unhallowed wasteland. We're also going to need a ton of, of we're gonna need six million for the slayer gear upgrade so i'm gonna to need to let this run on slayer stuff for a while and i still need to do um yeah i meant to go to slayer that's what i was looking for i still need to do 40 more of these elite slayer tasks so i mean there's gonna be plenty of money that comes from that but these slayer areas are no joke and i wanted to upgrade a little bit uh, get my gear upgraded a little bit and get some ammo and stuff and replenish and things like that. So that's kind of where we're at with this whole thing. Um, doing fairly well. Uh, definitely not doing an end of the mist necessarily soon. I need to get these two pieces of gear switched out. I think I'm set. Well, I need his chest piece too. And then I have the full magic set. So the magic and range is pretty well set. Uh, the other stuff is just struggling. And, you know, that's kind of where we're at. So that will do it for this one. We will catch you on the next one. Take care.